everybody, it's your boy, CJ Chiriak, and welcome to my Broly Collection. Now, in today's video, I want to talk about something special, something unique. Let's get into it. So what we got here is a Dragon Ball Super Superhero Base Vegeta from the Dragon Ball Super Superhero in the SH Figure Arts line. Anywho. Let's get into showing off this figure. Real quickly, I uh, will not be doing the unboxing part like I usually do in my videos. We're just going to go straight into um, showing off the figure. Uh, just, I don't want to waste you guys' time, but if anything comes up, you guys will be the first to know. So, let's get into it. So, get right into it. Here's the figure. Uh, honestly, it looks really cool. It's a really cool figure. Um, I mean, the paint job is very simple. It's a very simple, basic figure. It's nothing crazy, you know. But it's still like a really nice Vegeta figure app. I always really liked the Vegeta figures. So far, everything's stiff. He, uh, he still has the janky, like, ankle, like, joint, which I always thought was weird. Um, other than that though, everything's really stiff, so it's, it's fresh, very fresh, just good. Um, just kind of seeing, ooh, I'm a huge fan of that crunch. It's always, it's always scares me, like, when I hear that, that crunch, like, listen. Yeah, when you hear that figure crunch, I always worry of accidentally snapping the figure in half. It's a worry of mine. But uh, just for basics, he looks up, looks up, and he looks down fairly well. Um, and you you can r rotate him pretty all right. And again, it's a very basic figure. If you've seen one Vegeta figure, you've pretty much seen them all. Um, not a whole lot of difference. His arms can go up about that much. He's got the uh, wrist swivel. He can bend his elbows all the way up to that much. Um, bicep swivel. And we'll, we'll be getting the accessories here shortly. Uh, so a double joint and knee. Goes about that much. So it's not bad. Can you do the splits? We'll find out. So it looks like he can do about roughly that much. So not not too, nothing too crazy. It's like reasonable. It's reasonable. I already showed you the ankle joint. Um, yeah. Now when getting this figure, there's one thing I wanted to know, and then we'll get into accessories. Oh, I, for, I forgot the uh, the what do they call that? Well, uh, it can do that much, so it can do forward that, and it goes back to normal. So, looks really good overall, um, but the one thing that I was wondering, and if it'll work, and we're going to do this live on camera, is can you pop this head onto the Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta figure from the Cell Saga? So, we're going to try that out real quick. I have my Super Saiyan Vegeta figure right here. So let's see if we can pop this head, put it on this body, and maybe vice versa. So we'll give it a try. So, good news. You can pop the Super Saiyan head onto the superhero body, kind of making them look like the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta during the Majin Buu saga, where he was teaming up with Super Saiyan 3 Goku to fight off Kid Buu. So, that's pretty cool. This is the part I was really looking forward to. Base Vegeta. I have wanted a base Vegeta for a while, but they never really made a base Vegeta in his regular Saiyan armor. I mean, sure, you could do the Saiyan Saga or the Frieza Saga, you know, when he has the shoulder pads and whatnot. But never this, this one. And it looks great. Like, it looks really good. Um, let me try and get it to focus more. I 
any of it look it looks great like this this <laughs> very very happy to finally be able to do this so i can actually if i wanted to make a stop motion animation of vegeta transforming into a super saiyan that's really cool i can do that with trunks i could do that with dragon ball super broly i can do that with my goku now so it's really cool just yeah fix the thing but yeah so uh any anyway, we're we're not here about that though very happy about that let's show off the accessories